This is what we talk about when we talk about film length. Welcome to what we talk about when we talk about film, a weekly film series where we investigate ideas, theories and aspects of film. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Lack of viewers, all right. Uh, have you ever been to the cinema and just felt like, man, this, this film is just really, really long. Like, I could go for a pee, I could get some more popcorn, you know, that. Mm. Why is that? It's a good question, right? That is a good question. That yeah. is a good question. In this episode, we tried to find out if there was uh, such a thing as a too long film, if that concept existed at all. Yeah. That was our aim. And so we approached the idea of uh, film length and we did some research and we found some relevant quotes. Um, There's one by Edgar Wright and he basically says that his ideal film length is 89 minutes, right? So if he he wants to make an an 89 minute film and if he did, that would be like the perfect running time, yeah? Uh, Alternatively, someone called Alfred Hitchcock says Never done. the length you're right the length of a film should be directly related to the endurance of the human bladder so he's literally saying that when editing a film you need to bear in mind a human's natural bodily functions yeah right that's like that's key that's a key thing you need to bear in mind and so i mean they clearly have a rough idea of how long a film should be apart from a few exceptions usual films today like uh, Span around like uh, 90 minutes, yeah. like two hours yeah. roughly. Yeah. Uh, we also live in an age of seven second vines, uh, Instagram videos, Snapchats. So I guess we could say that our attention span is pretty short. So we were wondering what would happen if we subjected our uh, minds and bodies to a very, very long film. We watched uh, a Hungarian film by Belatar called Satan Tango. That's not the right pronunciation is it uh, I'd, I'd say it's called Shatan Tango but yeah. that yours is perfectly the, fine the main thing is that it's seven and a half hours long yeah right yeah it is now I'm Hungarian uh, so, so <laughs> and I really admire uh, Bela Tar and, and I have seen this film before I had seen this film before but then it took me uh, three days because I, I just had to stop watching uh, after some time this is really long as, as Dan said it's seven and a half hours long it came out in 94 um, it's black and white, it's a, a slow cinema movie, uh, quite an experience. Yeah. So we were wondering uh, what would happen if, if uh, just two guys just watched that film. So we did exactly that. Here we are in a screening room and we have the DVD of Shat and Tango. This says it's seven and a half hours long. I'm wondering if it has any extras so we can check them out after we finish. It's exactly... 10 past 11, um, which means we'll finish between half 6 and 7 p.m. Um, there are two DVDs, so we'll take one 10 minute break between the two DVDs to eat, go to the toilet. We have come prepared because this is an event for the whole day. I have brought my pillow and I also have some snacks, crisps, and cookies, sandwiches, all the goodies. What about you? I've got, I've got my water, I've got my banana, my cookies, my nuts. I have a water as well. Okay, that's big. Yeah. Bigger than mine. Well, you have more. So yeah, we're about to start. Wish us luck. Sam and Jake don't know what they've saved themselves from. Is this a fair representation of life in Hungary? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's 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 literally like my family and me. In the mud. That's that's where I live. I was trying to picture you in this you know where I would be in that in the in this environment. Uh, How was the first? Three and a half hours. That's exactly halfway through the film. It wasn't that bad. It was exactly what you expected it to be, I guess. Just very long, very slow. Well, I feel like I feel so drained. I feel like brain dead. Do you? Yeah, because the, these would usually, like, it's three now. 
and these are like peak hours for me. Like I'd be out and about. I'm absolutely pumped. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm the opposite. I'm I'm really this film is so good. I'm just I don't I, I really don't mind the length. It's just like the the bodily needs mm. that that give us some obstacles, but um, as I think it's a lot of fun. Okay. Is that your type of film though? Like. Would, if it was like two hours, would you, would you normally put it on and night? This film is torture. It's meant to be torture, it, and it's not just the length. Mm -hmm. It's the subject matter, the characters, the, the tone, the atmosphere, like like how 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 it all um, works. All the elements work together. This is definitely not something that you could just casually watch. Yeah. But I think it's worth the sacrifice. Are you excited for the second half? Your 10 minute break is almost over? I'm excited. Let's go for it. I'm excited. To summarize, this was a long film. It was long. Right? It was long. So this was the first time that you that you you've seen this one. And yeah. What, what are your feelings about it? Um, I struggled. I struggled. We took one break, as you saw, um, which I mean, thank God we did because both of us just just bursting off of the toilet, like both times um, near the end of the first and second part, we both really needed the toilet. Um, we needed to eat as well. We need to move around because my limbs are just going to sleep. Um, aside from the physical reaction, the film was good, right? Um, whether the length enters the discussion, I think definitely yes. Uh, I think, I mean, I don't know. I feel harsh to say it's too long. I mean, who am I to say that to Begata? I mean, you can tell that it was made to be that long. Yeah, I mean, yeah. No one just accidentally makes an eight hour film like in editing like, oops, uh, this happens to be eight hours. Um, I think there was a clear purpose behind it that it's not meant to be watched like any other film. So casually that you just, just uh, hop in out and hop out of, of the cinema. Yeah. Um, I can agree with uh, all those bodily functions. They appeared um, after, like an hour in, we were already kind of tired yeah. Two hours in, the bladder problems get, got stronger and stronger. Thank God for the break. Um, uh, we managed to eat snacks throughout. You were annoyed by my crisp yeah. sounds. It was really loud. We uh, even, we even established crisps, rules crisps. to not, not buy anything loud or smelly. But he did exactly that. They weren't smelly. Well, well, they were loud. They were loud. They were Pringles. I have to say, although I don't know if I'm, I'm in... Uh, minority here but I really enjoy uh, very slow films it's just could be just me could be the Hungarian blood I, I love I love slow cinema I love um, the way these images like basically start their own lives because they are so long you watch them for so long that, that you can just I don't know imagine what's going on so it's it's almost like an active uh, viewing mm. of, of the film yeah. I'd say I'm of the opinion that this film could only exist in this length because it does it only exists in this length it's not like there's a director's cut or there's like a, a shorter version of it this is it the, the satan tango that's it so i mean yeah maybe the story could have been told in two hours but that would have been a different film entirely right yeah so in summary should we watch films that are too long should we not should we avoid them what is that is there a rule that longer films are are worse than than just right uh films or should a filmmaker take into consideration uh, the physical needs of the viewers at all and the mental needs as well can, can the viewer be engaged in a narrative for seven plus hours say. I say yes if uh, if uh, the aim of the film is to create an illusion to to uh, dwell in for the audience not necessarily for an art house film that is meant to be torture right from the beginning so if you've seen any long films or you've seen Saturn Tango and you want to tell us what you think about it, feel free to comment below or you know, reach us on our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. 
and tell us what you think. And click through to find out which one of our crew, mem- crew members uh, have not seen Westward until recently. Thank you for watching. Do come back next week.